Hello and welcome to Geek at Play Studio tutorial. In this tutorial, it's kind of a little bit extended. Um, we used this image, the animation before, when is a Jason running on a field. Uh, what I want to do in this one is add explosions. And actually, you don't have it any particle system kind of in a woo. We'll use it, we won't use it woo for this tutorial, but it's interesting. I want to include this tutorial in a set. So you can see how you can add additional particle effects in uh, your animations. So what we're going to do, we'll use it after effects for this tutorial and application called particle illusion as well. And you can see how very easy we can add. So here we have our uh, footage. Next, we're going to go ahead in a particle illusion and import this footage. Okay, so here we have a particle illusion loaded. Um, before we import the background image, let's go to the our uh, um, project settings. I will change frame set to 24 frame. Same as our, and I want also enable the uh, motion blur and put this on higher quality. We just give it this more life to that. So to import video, we'll just right click on our layer. We'll go background image. Okay, in background image, we have our running. So let's go ahead, click OK. This is, if you notice, we have a little bit slightly different. So 2398, click OK. And click OK again. So let's go to change, 2398. So we have the same frame rate. Also, if you notice right here, it's showing us how long it is, 225. We just need to go on top and type 225 so our frame rate right here will stop matching. And you can notice how well we're already running. Okay, let's add maybe some rocket flying in. So we'll go ahead, right click, and we're loading libraries. And one library, what I was looking at is called Smoke. So we have a Smoke one. And we have a Cerebral, we have a Jet Smoke. Q Pasteurizing Smoke. Let's see if we can find Thin Smoke. I don't find so let's just use it jet smoke okay um, to move scenery around you actually need right click and go click scroll so we can kind of readjust you can look around now I want to just position right here so we're going flying from this point let's go move to frame one we'll set our first beginning here we we'll move maybe to frame 60 so let's play and see how long it's going. Probably around here. Okay, select tool and just move it our object to the center. Right now we're ready to modify, so it's look re not realistic. Let's go to um, first. We'll go to angle, and if we drag right with a zero. We can move for all, all timeline. We'll just realign it. Okay, let's go also a little bit zoom out, make it smaller. Go ahead on the live and decrease our live. So you can see we have it. Next, we go ahead to the thin screen and a little bit blend to our scenery. And also on visibility, I want a little bit decrease as well. What's happening, we kind of can see. And you notice when we're hitting at that point, we stop here. So what do we want to do, we want to go ahead, click on visibility and remove it. So it's at that point, it's hit. Yeah, also a couple things. 
um, we can modify we can modify the size overall and motion range just decrease so it's going to be sprayed all over okay also I want a little bit decrease the velocity because right now if you notice how fast it's going smoke actually this is about right when we change so what I want to do this uh, a smoke should match velocity of our projectile so it's about right okay maybe just a little bit reduce the zoom okay let's go now to the point when it's hitting let's add some explosion to this point just to find what I recommend for you to go to Wonder Torch website okay and right here you can go browse to the library and find right the one which I look it's around I think 2004 and it is this nuclear explosion so when you find what you needed just look when it was made July it's a 704 so we'll go ahead and quick loaded library okay here's the mushrooms and here are some explosions this one this one look a little bit more wider so when you select it you just need to select here we show you uh, remove your tool and let's just look at 49 just make it right a little bit more Around here, probably. There you go. So you can see how it's already applied. Okay, we're going to add additional maybe fire. Little bit down. So there you go. The one thing actually with uh, Wonder Touch, with Particle Illusion, um, you need render like open on the screen. So what is happening in the Pro version, you can render as a batch, so you don't need it. But if you're rendering inside LE Edition or other ones, you want kind of readjust your screen. So you have a full view of the animation you want to render. So let's go more a little bit here. Adjusting, again refreshing. Here we have a full image, we're ready to render. What we need to do is just um, click on the save output. Let's go to the first page. Then click on save. Panel. And let's go select AVI as well. We'll go save it. Again, I like to uncompress, but it's up to you what you like it. Click OK, we want all frames. You don't need to save alpha for this. We'll have it 720 by 480 resolution. It's what was default. Click OK. And right now you notice how the it just will re-render every. So we have our missiles going, our explosion. And the our person try to run away. So here you can see how easy it is add the effect. Of course, to add a full effect, we need blend with a filtering and maybe add additional explosions. Okay, and here after rendering, I just add additional filter. So you can see how we created a little bit more realistic looking explosion.
Okay, thank you for watching this tutorial from Geek at Play Studio. Please come visit us on the web is www.geekatplay.com.